Bean and Bog, written and illustrated by Emily Schofield. That's me. <laughs> Bean and Bog were in the garden, playing and having fun. Until Bog kicked his ball a little too hard and it bounced and bounced and bounced away. Bog ran after his ball which flew deep into the forest. Stop cried Bean, but her brother hadn't heard. Bean chased Bog and Bog chased his ball and before they knew it, they were lost! Don't worry, said Bean to Bog, we'll find our way back home. So off they went, walking through the forest, searching for someone to help. As Bean and Bog wandered further and further, the two noticed they weren't alone anymore. Careful, said the creature, you almost stepped on my head. Bean asked the creature if he knew the way back home. He scratched his head, shrugged his shoulders, replied nope, then went back into his hole. Oh well, said Bean, we'll have to keep on searching. As Bean and Bog walked deeper and deeper into the forest, they began to hear strange noises coming from the trees. They were surrounded by fairies. You wouldn't happen to know the way back home, asked Bean politely, but the fairies just laughed and flew away. Left alone in the deep dark forest, they started to lose all hope. Oh no, cried Bog, we'll never find our way back home. As Bog began to cry, Bean sat beside him and promised everything would be okay. Then in the distance, Bean noticed something unusual. What looked like a tree began to move. Bean and Bog were amazed by what they saw. Hello there, said a far off voice as a giant appeared from the forest. Please could you help us find our way back home? asked Bean. The giant smiled and held out his hand. He lifted Bean higher and higher until she could see far across the land. Look, I can see our village. The giant carried Bean and Bog back home. We were worried sick about you, said Grandad. Bean and Bog ran over to their grandparents and gave them a big hug. They promised to never wander far from home again. <laughs>